The town of Falkirk in Scotland will soon be home to some supernatural beings. These magnificent mythical creatures are part of Scottish folklore and now the Kelpie is the focus of a massive cultural regeneration in central Scotland. It's taken seven years to get to this point. Each Kelpie weighs 300 tonnes and consists of 18,000 components. It's one of the biggest structural engineering projects in Scotland. They're designed by Scottish sculptor Andy Scott, whose works are internationally acclaimed. You're famous for some big, big sculptures um, in Scotland. How does this compare? I, I don't think there's many sculptors who'd be lucky enough to win a project like this ever. You know, it's just been a fantastic experience. Um, I'm really, really proud of them. The inspiration for the Kelpies comes from the legacy of the heavy horses that once worked in the fields and canals across the west of Scotland. Andy modelled the design on two Clydesdale horses, Duke and Baron, from the nearby Pollock Park. I hear you've got a family connection with the area. My father was from the Falkirk area and I still have relatives living in town here and uh, you know so there's that sense of you know real legacy and, 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 and direct association with the town is something that I really hold dear. So one of them the head's down, the other one the head is up, why that way? Well, it would have been very straightforward and in a sense logical to have uh, what uh, maybe a traditional gateway idea with two mirror image horses, one on either side of the canal. The idea of it introducing some kind of a dynamism and some kind of a tension between the two of them. The, the idea then that it creates a narrative, some kind of a story rather than just being, you know, straightforward duplicate of each other. As well as being a monument to Scotland's industrial past, the Kelpies have a modern day job as well, attracting hundreds of thousands of visitors to the Helix Park, which opens next spring. Standing 10 metres taller than the Angel of the North, they should be easily seen from the nearby M9. The Kelpies are just as impressive on the inside wow. too. <laughs> Sorry. I think this, I is, this is the cathedral. Very lucky to get in here. Yeah. Well, this is incredible. It just goes to show you some of the, the complexity of the steelwork and the structure that's actually inside these things. It's just, just amazing. Well, so the idea is that people will be able to come in here, Indeed. it'll be a yep. viewing gallery? Yep. Well, the design is under uh, under consideration just now. We're working with architects to come up with an appropriate design that will allow people to come in and experience the actual scale of the sculptures and, and see the, the engineering and uh, all the stainless steel panels and, and all the rest of it from the inside and out. For me, that's you know, arguably as interesting as the, as the exterior view. So I'm pretty privileged You're to get in here yeah, today. Yeah, one of the first members of the public to get in here. This is awesome. Yeah. Once the Kelpies are completed later this year, Falkirk will have made its mark firmly on the cultural map of Scotland. What an amazing day. I feel so lucky to have seen these structures up close and at 30 metres high, they will be seen for miles around.